Is sola scriptura biblical? The doctrine of sola scriptura, which means scripture alone, holds that the Bible is the supreme authority in all matters of doctrine and practice, while the term itself is not found in the Bible. Several passages are often cited by proponents of sola scriptura to support the concept that scripture is the ultimate authority for Christians. Here are the key biblical passages for sola scriptura. Matthew chapter 4 verse 4. 2 Timothy chapter 3 verses 16 to 17. Acts chapter 17 verse 11. And 2 Peter chapter 1 verses 20 to 21. In Matthew chapter 4 verse 4. Jesus said that man does not live by bread alone but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. This means that the word of God alone, or God's teaching alone, can give us spiritual life, while other teachings can only benefit the flesh. Here in 2 Timothy chapter 3 verses 16 to 17, all scripture is breathed out by God simply means all the teachings of God are sufficient for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness. Thus. Any teachings or books that do not come from God are not included. Here in Acts chapter 17 verse 11, the noble Bereans made sure that what was being taught by Paul was truly in the Bible, ensuring that Paul's teaching was based on scripture alone. Here in 2 Peter chapter 1 verses 20 to 21, the apostle Peter makes it clear that any interpretation must come from God, the Spirit, alone opinions from man must be disregarded. Does this clearly imply sola scriptura? While the Bible does not explicitly use the term sola scriptura, the concept is derived from various passages that underscore the authority, inspiration, and sufficiency of scripture. These passages collectively support the view that the Bible is the final authority in matters of faith and practice for Christians.